Mario auf der NAMM Show unterwegs für euch im Bereich Synthesizer und neben mir stehen zwei wirklich sehr berühmte Persönlichkeiten in dem äh, Segment, natürlich Dave Smith hier von Dave Smith Instruments und Tom Oberheim von den legendären Synthesizern, die ihr aus vielen, vielen Aufnahmen kennt. Und jetzt haben die beiden sich zusammengetan für den neuen OB6. So, nice to meet you guys and uh, it's a pleasure. Uh, maybe you can tell me about your new product and the collaboration of yours. Okay. The, uh, the OB6 is uh, a new product by Dave Smith Instruments, the Dave Smith Instruments that I uh, participated with Dave on. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it, it uses a technology that he developed for the Prophet 6, but uses analog voice cards that give it the sound of the old Oberheim OBXA matrix, uh, 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 modular four voice, eight voice from the 70s. And uh, it sounds terrific, but it's, uh, it sounds like an Oberheim. That's great. Uh, I'm uh, very excited to, to hear the, the new sound. So maybe you can tell me how, how does it start that you two work together? Well, we, Tom and I have known each other since the 70s. Uh, back then, we're, we've always been friends. Back then, we were competitors, uh, of course, because everybody wanted either a Prophet or an Oberheim. And uh, we thought it might be a good idea to give people that choice again. So we started talking last summer and we said, well, wouldn't this be a good idea? And we said, yeah. So we started working on it and we were both very happy to see how it came out because it really sounds like an Oberheim synthesizer. And the response at this show has been incredible because everybody just, they hit three notes and they go, I know that sound, I know that sound. And uh, you say it's a combination of the Prophet and, and the Oberheim, so you can also do the, the Prophet sound as well? Uh, no, no, it does not do the Prophet sounds. The basic technology for all the, you know, there's over 100 control voltages inside this instrument. Uh, we developed all the technology for controlling all of the control voltages and all of that for the Prophet 6, so we use that here. But the sound generation is 100% new, 100% different. These two instruments do not sound the same. Okay, so do you have any other plans for the future, like another, uh, another reissue of uh, Oberheim or something like that? Well, I mean, uh, this, this uh, the machine, the OB6, announced yesterday, I think we need a little time. Of course, <laughs> right. <laughs> we never plan too far ahead, so okay. we, we, there's no secrets, no, uh, no, no big plans yet. So yeah, This is not some magic uh, high-tech chip that somebody's invented. This is basic uh, discrete circuitry, uh, just like it was 30 years ago, but, uh, but uh, controlled a little differently. So it's not like uh, it was years in the making and uh, the chips are going to go away and all of that. This is really basic stuff. Uh, and um, we'll see where it leads. I'm not not that familiar with the, with the features now because it's so brand new. Uh, what would you say is the the key feature b beside the the legendary sound? What is the the key features of the of the instrument? Uh, a lot of the features are similar to the Prophet 6, like the sequencer and the arpeggiator and things like that. Uh, we have a complete dual digital effects section, but one key thing there we added models of Tom's original Mastro phase shifter and ring modulator from the. Mid 70s, early 70s. Early 70s, early 70s. Early 70s, right? So early from the early 70s. So that's a little bit of extra of uh, Tom's goodness that we put into the instrument. Spot on, absolute spot on uh, uh, simulations uh, of them. It just sounds like what I had back in the in the early 70s. Really fantastic. Perfect. I appreciate very much. For, uh, thank you very much for the interview. And uh, maybe we can just do some sound examples now. Yeah. 